Okay, so as you see, I poked a hole in the middle of that that padding so the uh, uh, the, the crank can uh, be attached. And as you can see, I opened up the grippers a little more so the headliner can go through. Make sure your hands are clean at this point, and make sure you're working on a clean surface. The strip from the uh, square section of the headliner is going to go into those teeth. Now you can actually do this on the car as well. Some people like to do that, but I'm doing it here on the table. Just a little bit easier, I guess, to show you. Uh, make sure that strip is all the way in. And that those grippers, once they're clamped down, will cover it completely. And then again, with just the rubber mallet, you can start tapping it down. Just go slow. Make sure that mallet is clean again. This is mohair, and uh, once it's soiled, it's you gotta you gotta have to clean it. If you do soil your headliner, baby wipes is one of the best ways to uh, clean it. Just keep feeling the grippers, and as you can see, it's getting pounded down to hold that strip in place. Well, now that that's even, you gotta make sure it's even on both sides, and when you tug it, it should be nice and and tight. Now we're gonna have to cut a hole for that uh, the shaft to go through that that uh, attaches the latch, attaches the handle rather. Make sure when you cut it, when you pull it tight, just cut it a little bit ahead of the shaft because once the headliner is uh, free, it'll move backwards. You don't want to cut it right on top of the shaft because once you tighten it and let go, the hole might be visible and you don't want to, uh, to see that. So, And then uh, here's your spring and collar. press that down and then there's your handle and again you're going to need that little pin to hold the handle down so basically you press down the collar and there's a hole in the handle that has to be hammered through uh, with the pin and uh, basically that's what holds the handle on in these early years, that's exactly the way the uh, the door handles work as well for the window crank and the, the door opener. And then uh, you test it out, and that's it. Now we have the front part of the headliner done on the square section. Now again, you got to leave those back small rail pieces off in order to slide the mechanism on. Just line up the rollers. The big round rollers will actually go into the track, and then the little nylon rollers will go under the track, as you can see here. So make sure you want to slide it back and forth to see it's uh, how movable it is. It should move freely back and forth. Right, so what we're going to do here is now attach the front part of the mechanism. Take a peek, make sure everything's straight and everything looks good. Now we're going to slide the rear bow on. And again, slide that back and forth to make sure it moves freely. You might want to put just a little Vaseline in there in the track so it moves a little bit better, but for the most part, just uh, you should be able to move it freely without a problem. Now here I'm putting on the end of the bows some some of that spongy material that we put on the front header because uh, I'll show you that in a second while we're doing that. Now I'm going to add some glue to the bow. Again, dry on dry, just like the headliner. Now here's the pockets the little felt material that comes on the headliner it's usually split by TMI now naturally some people will want to glue the felt material to the bottom where it's sewn I don't recommend doing that I like to glue it just to the top of the felt material just so the split in the felt is at the top of the bow and I'll show you why because when you go up too high that means 
when the headliners pull tight you'll see later on that it's then not even with the headliner around it and it tracks upward and it looks like then you have some pockets and you don't want that so you want this to be at the top of the felt here so at this section you sometimes that that bar that comes across you might just have to cut the felt so it goes around it this is what I mean you need the split of the felt on the very top of the the bow that's the way you want it not at the sewn section some people I see always glue it and, and wrap it around real tight around the sewn section now just make sure you're even all the way across. It's very crucial that you're even here because if you're not, the center section is going to look off. And now I'm doing it to the rear section. And uh, make sure you save your bows from when you did the tear down. You're going to need those bows to go in there. If you don't have the bows, you can always use brazen rod that they sell at a hardware store. It's very similar to the bow material. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually gluing the end of the rod and then putting it into the pocket so that it never slides out. Now here's where it's crucial. And this is what I mean when you wanted to where you wanted to glue it. See as I pull it it gets even and it comes down level with the edge of the headliner there. If you would have glued it to the sewn lace, you would have saw a huge upward uh, pocket there, so a huge space, a gap. Now you can attach the rear, uh, the rear rails, tighten them down. Now here's the front section of the bow that's going to be going into your rag top material. Now you can use rubber cement here um, or the spray glue. Just make sure it's a strong spray glue. Um, you don't want to use something that's wimpy here because you remember this rag top material, once it's locked into the front part of the car, it's going to pull tight. Um, sometimes you might want to have the rag top material sitting out in the sun for a little while so it's uh, a little has a little bit of stretch to it so you can work it. And what you want to do here is push it into the front pocket. Now you get your I'm using contact cement here. Again, just like the spray glue, you want to do a dry on dry. And use a liberal amount here and use just basically use a bunch. And you want to wait till it sets up to get tacky and dry. And then you apply uh, the material to the bow. So do it on both sides. The inside of the material, just just liber liberally put it on. And some of these brushes that I use, I mean these are brushes you're going to toss out, they're not going to be saved, so I usually go to the dollar store and pick up some paint brushes. Alright now, when you s put it into the pocket, this is crucial here too. You want to pull as tight as you can and start pressing it down, of course, with your with your hand and getting it into shape. Pull it nice and tight. And the one thing you want to do here is in the front lace here. See where I'm pointing? You want to pull that downward, not up, because that's gonna you're gonna want that to stay nice and flush with the top of the car when it gets locked. Too many times I see people put the uh, the bow in the pocket and then when they lock the mechanism down that lace is upward and it looks silly you don't want it to be pointing upward in any in any way you want that to be nice and straight on the bow actually I force it down a little bit because once it gets pressed down on top of the car it will move up a bit so you're better off you know having it hooked down a bit more than up And then the uh, rear bow is pretty self-explanatory uh, for the, basically from uh, late 56 to uh, 63, they had threads that poked through the rear pocket. Some early 56 bugs had a square 
rear section of the ragtop material. 56 was kind of like a uh, strange year. They had some different sizes of the headliner, of the uh, the ragtop material, and um, some of the companies only sell one size of the ragtop material. Wolfsburg West actually sells the correct size, so look at your VIN uh, to be sure if you have it, uh, the right material. Um, but mostly through mid-56 and onward, it's pretty much the same, just like you see here. Just glue it on and again, poke it, those threads through, and those are going to go through the holes on the back portion of the, the roof of the car. This is why I put those spongy materials on those bows. They're going to go into the pockets on the headliner, on the ragtop material. So first I start on one side, the rear, and poke it through. Then I go on the opposite side of the car, and I alternate, and then put it through. Now I cross and go on the opposite side of the car again, and then do the front the middle section is last and you want to go opposite each si each time because if you do all one side at one time it's very difficult to get them in the pockets on the other side of the car so you want to crisscross basically pull that and put those threads through the holes just for now just to line it up And once you get a, you might need a partner to help hold it down. Now you can see those holes are kind of slotted. And I'm going to talk to be, talk to you about this in a second. Um, that means there's an adjustment. Um, so now we're going to put the front bow onto the mechanism. Make sure it's lined up. It's basically just a shaft that vertically goes down into a. Um, I guess you know another shaft to to line it up uh, like a track almost. Here's that pin that I was telling you about that you got to save. Most of the V Dub shops out there should have these pins. If you did lose one, we're gonna insert it here. Sometimes a little finagling is uh, needed to to get it in. Sometimes the hole just doesn't line up, but you keep working it and you'll get it in there. And then you need a short stubby screwdriver uh, to just kind of basically reach in there and tighten it up. Now in the rear section, you have to tighten those down. But you need that bar, remember that bar that I told you about, and the lip, the L lip that's on that bar faces, is, is towards the back of the car, as you can see. I don't even know why it's L. There's an L on, like an L bend in that bar. It just that doesn't really make much sense to me, but um, it is. So tighten those down. You don't have to go super tight yet, because you might want to adjust the top if it's too loose and you see pockets like you're going to see here. So I'm going to tighten this down, and it's pretty tight. But see, the front section is up a bit. Now you can adjust that by moving a bit. It can slide. That's why those, uh, that's why those, uh, a, a gapped hole, like an, an egg-shaped hole there. You can keep working that. Um.